and welcome back to another video from my pick and trade tutorial series. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the scale widget. The scale widget is a GUI element that presents to the user a range of values and a slider. The user can then use the slider to navigate between these range of values and pick the one that he desires. Right, so let's get right into it. So let's create our basic scale widget. Self.scale is equal to tk.scale, self.frame, and now we have to give our scale a range of values from which the user will pick from. So we use two parameters here called from and to. Uh, from is the starting value in the range and uh, to is the ending value. We have to use uh, from underscore here. That's because I guess from is actually a keyword in Python. You can see it highlighted here. So we use from underscore, and let's give it a value of zero, a starting range of zero, and two will give it 10. So we have a scale with a, a range of values from zero to 10. Let's place this somewhere. X is equal to 30, Y is equal to 30. And let's run this. Here's our basic scale widget. We can see it here. We can pick from a, a range of values from zero to 10. The small label over here shows the currently selected value in the scale. So that was our basic scale widget. Now let's actually begin exploring and using some of the other parameters that the scale widget has. The scale widget has about 20 different parameters with at least 10 of them being directly related to its functionality. We'll be trying to cover as many as we can. Right, so the first one I'll show you is orient. As you can probably guess, this determines the orientation of the scale. By default, it's tk.vertical in its current state. You can see that's, that's vertical. Let's go with horizontal. Horizontal. And here's our horizontal scroll bar. Right. The next parameter I want to discuss is the command parameter. We've used this before several times, so you should know this by now. This is going to call a function. Uh, when the value of the scale is changed. So every time we move the slider, this function will be called. So let's call the function ret, ret for retrieve, self.ret. And let's create that function. Let's call it ret, the parameter of self. And I almost forgot, uh, the command over here, the function over here, will actually have two parameters passed into it, self because it's part of a class, and a unique one called value. Basically, the scale itself is going to pass the value, its current value, into the function. So you don't need to worry about that. All you got to do is print out value, or do whatever else you want to do with it. Uh, now let's actually try this out. Let's move this, and we see one has been printed out. Every time we change the value on the slider, uh, the functional call, the red function right here, and the values will be printed out. Right. The next few parameters all have something to do with the way the values show up and the way the values can be selected from the scale. So let's begin. We'll use resolution. Now, resolution determines the range, the sensitivity, in the sense, of values that can be picked. By default, this is 1. 1 allows us uh, to sort of pick uh, in intervals of 1. We can pick 1, we can pick 2, we can pick 3. But if we do 0 0.5, we can suddenly pick with a resolution of 0 0.5. How this works, you can see right here, 0 0.5. We can select values with decimal points now as well. We can, of course, tone this down even further. 0 0.25. And we can uh, be very careful with how we move this. Okay, I believe the reason why they weren't showing up was because of the digits parameter. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. We have to adjust the digits parameter here because uh, hold on. Uh, it determines how many uh, values can actually be shown over here, all right? So if you want, uh, say, to, to uh, show two decimal places, you got to use four. 
or actually, it, well, it depends on the range of values that you've given here as well. So you have to tweak this around a bit. All right. Uh, let's take a look at tick interval now. Tick interval. All right. So what is a tick exactly? Well, a tick is those small markers that you see on graphs and scales as well. Uh, let's just go ahead and run this to show you what it really looks like. All right, that looks like a complete mess right now. Uh, let's just adjust a few things. Let's put the resolution back to one, and let's also put the digits back to three, or two really, because let's just go with integer values for now. And yeah, let's run this again. All right, it looks better. Now, I was gonna show you this later, but may as well do it now. We'll go with length, the length of the scale, We'll increase it past this default value. And there, looks much better. Here we can change the values perfectly fine. And we've got the labels over here. See, these are the ticks, the ticks. It's from 0, 1, 2, 3. The tick interval that we defined is basically similar to the resolution. If we were to uh, pass a tick interval value of 0 0.5, then we would have a tick or a label for that number appearing every 0 0.5 value. Right. So another parameter I want to take a look at is the slider length. Uh, but maybe you thought that the slider length was a little too big, and personally I do think so. Its default value is uh, 30 pixels, but we can adjust this down a bit to 20. And there we go, we have a smaller slider more suitable, I guess, if you're a bit low on space. All right, so... Here's another fun thing that you can use, a label. Uh, usually, for widgets, we create a separate label and then uh, have it display out right above the widget to basically show the user, I mean, tell the user what it's for, right? So that the scale has its own built-in label. So we can write my scale right here. And let's run this. And there you go. We have a label up there for the scale that says my scale. Right. Just another thing I want to show you here. You see this label that shows right above the slider? Well, that, uh, well, it's a, that's a setting that we can actually adjust. Let's say you don't want this showing up, right? So we can change this using the show value parameter. It's default set to one, which means show, but you can disable the setting by passing zero into it. And as you can see, it is no longer there. And uh, I mean, if you have ticks, uh, it shouldn't really be a problem. Or if you're just looking for an approximate value, but this is mostly useful when you don't have ticks. Right. This just another fun setting I wanted to show you is draw color. This changes the color of the scale, actually. Let's run this now. And you see, it completely changed the draw. We call this the draw, and this is a slider. So, yeah, this is a kind of fun setting. I mean, it does really change the look of the scale. It makes it look a little better, in my opinion. There's just one last thing I want to take a look at in this video before we wrap it up. Uh, some widgets in Takeinter, the interactive ones, they have two states. They have an active state and a disabled state. In the active state, we can interact with them normally, which is the default state as well. The disabled state puts the widget in an unresponsive mode. You may want to do this sometimes in your GUI, so let me just demonstrate how. We cre let's create a button for this, actually, we'll, we'll need this. Or we won't. St we don't specifically need a button, but we're just doing it for our convenience here and for demonstration purposes. You could link this to some other function or even the command over here. Up to you. Sorry. Uh, text disable the scale, right? And command. We'll make a new one called disable. We'll place the button somewhere below the scale, same x, and we'll give it 100 of 1, y. Let's create that function, disable, 
self dot disable actually uh, self here and uh, sorry what am I doing uh, self dot scale dot config right see when you create a uh, a widget basically you do it with the tk dot widget name right basically you're creating the widget right here so we can actually alter the widget later on let's say you missed a parameter or you want to change the value of a parameter uh, you can actually use the config command here to uh, change it like this uh, let's say we wanted to disable it right so so instead of uh, passing state is equal to tk dot disabled here, we can configure our scale with the config uh, function and change it right here. So basically, uh, in short, just remember config can be used to edit a widget. Right. So we can use scale perfectly normally here. Now let's press this. And let's try running this. I mean, let's try moving this. And as you can see, it is not moving. It is basically being disabled. Now, of course, I, I suggest you actually keep some kind of visual indication, like maybe change the draw color to gray or something to uh, indicate that it's unresponsive now. There. Now it actually looks like it's unresponsive. In, you know, makes sense now and that's just about it for this video if you want to see more of our tutorials in the future make sure to hit the subscribe button and well see you later